payers, by and large, and this is a terrible generalization, uh, look at the gold standard of randomized control trials as the best place to find evidence. And of course the reason is because of randomization. You can get rid of confounding on baseline and not have to adjust for it and then have controversies over the adjustments. But having said that, not everything in life can really be solved with a randomized controlled trial, nor do we, could we afford to do everything that way. So increasingly payers are looking at observational data when they're conducted well, uh, when they've been replicated in different populations, and giving some credence to that kind of data as well. I view real-world evidence generation as being terribly important because when you're looking at a, a, a product being developed in an academic medical center with a tight protocol of care and it's just a subset of people who are enrolled, you'll get one set of findings. But when it's really used out in the real world, completely different things happen. Um, people drop off therapy, they have lots of comorbidities, uh, there's just a lot more confusion. And so the benefit that you may have seen in an RCT may just go away in a real-world study or the reverse could happen. Maybe the tolerability is so good with someone's product that the other products don't look as good. So you can find very different findings in the real world than you find in a randomized controlled trial. Both are important. I wouldn't replace one with the other.